Good evening. We begin tonight with the Erie County Executive Kathy Dahlkemper making a desperate plea to residents who believe COVID-19 is a hoax. Samir Nafsi joining us now in the control room with words of advice as COVID deaths continue to rise in Erie County. Samir. Joe and Sean, good evening to you. Tonight, Erie County has 178 new cases of COVID-19. That brings the county to just under 6,000 cases since March. Now, when it comes to deaths, County Executive Kathy Dahlkemper saying there are way too many, starting with the first one. 82 Erie County individuals who have died from COVID-19 this year, and that's 82 too many. The deaths continue to soar locally as do hospitalization rates with 123 individuals, 14 of them on ventilators. The county executive asking community members who aren't taking the pandemic serious to start. The families of 82 people are not going to be able to celebrate the holidays with them this year or ever again. Medical studies are now showing the aftermath of the virus. Individuals known as long haulers are showing lasting impacts of COVID-19 on the body after the virus is long gone. Currently, long haulers are younger patients facing symptoms like fatigue, lack of energy, and mental cloudiness. We don't know what's causing it. Um, one of the theories out there is it's, it's some type of autoimmune reaction where your body's actually effectively fought off the virus but your immune system has not shut down yet, and it's basically overreacting to the virus. With the health department swamped with contact tracing efforts, area hospitals maintain that they are stable and able to provide care to patients, but are planning and preparing for a more significant surge of cases, two to three times what it is now. Hope does remain on the horizon as federal approval for a COVID-19 vaccination has been scheduled to debut sometime this month. They're still working, I know, on a national level, uh, uh, to distribute those allocations down to the state level. Then once the state level uh, is received, they will further distribute it down to all of the approved uh, administration sites. It's unknown who will be the first to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Once it's available, it is believed that medical personnel will be, of course, top priority. Sean? As Samir Nefsi in the control room tonight.